Hey, what's up Academy, it's Chad here. I thought I would just do my quick little rant before I go for my run. Uh, yesterday we talked, or I talked about, what did I talk about yesterday? Oh yeah, the pre-twist. Yes, I think the consensus is, I had one person say that they think that the Marek can do the twisting for you. I disagree, just take the time to do the pre-twist. Today, let me tell you a little story. I went and looked at a job once, and I walked into the garage, and uh, I was checking out the panel in the garage, and I noticed below the panel there was an extension cord which is no big deal, but this extension cord had two male cord ends on it. So I asked the homeowner what this was all about because we call those widow makers or suicide cords for obvious reasons. Because if you plug one side in, the blades on the other side are going to be live. Am I right? Just think about that for a second, you apprentices, if you've never come across these things. Do not make these things. Do not ever make an extension cord that has two male plugs. So I asked what was going on with that. And they thought they were brilliant because there was a receptacle below their uh, panel there. And so what they said is in power outs outages, what they do is they take their gen set outside the garage because they're, you know, they don't want to have carbon monoxide poisoning. Fire that bad boy up, plug in on one side, plug into the receptacle and back feed to their panel. And I was like, what? And uh, I hear this happening. I've never actually seen it. So I, I, talk to him. I said, you can't do that. It's totally legal. He's like, no, no, it's okay. I had an electrician friend of mine tell me it's okay, just as long as they turn off my main breaker. Now, there's lots of things wrong with that story. There's no way an electrician should be telling anybody to make a male-to-male -male cord end. So don't ever do that. They call them, honestly, they're called suicide cords or widow makers. So not worth it. If somebody asks you to do it, tell them no. Uh, if they ask you if they should do it, tell them no. There's ways around this. You can get transfer switch is pretty cheap. You can just go to Home Depot and get yourself a little like five position transfer switch that will just do the job for you. You just punch a hole through your wall, through your garage, wherever, you run a feed outside so that you can plug in a proper plug in and away you go. You can get special transfer or yeah, transfer switch plugs that have male ends on them. So do not make the widow maker. It's, uh, it's not worth it. What are you guys seeing out there? Can you put in your comment below there, if you've seen anything dumb, something like that, or something that somebody's argued with you or wanted you to do that is completely, you know, is unethical or illegal, I would love to hear about it. Definitely, can you share this around? I would like to hear what's going on out there in the field, what you guys are running up against. And um, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna go for my run. I hope you guys have a great day. It is the long weekend here in BC, so we are off to Whistler tomorrow. Super duper excited about it. Haven't been up to Worcester in a while. My kids are finally getting back to an age. We used to go quite a bit, we used to go skiing, but uh, had two young kids and made life a little bit difficult getting traveling because it's a three hour drive. Now they're four and two and I've got a 14 year old, sorry, four and three and a 14 year old. Actually the four year old's almost five. Anyways, doesn't matter, but we're driving up. So we are gonna be heading up there. So uh, there won't be any little rants probably this weekend unless I come across something or I get some Wi-Fi while I'm up there. All right, so guys, have a safe weekend. And make sure you hit like if you see this on my fan page. Make sure you like the fan page. And I'll keep these things going. Have a great weekend, guys.